Job 22, Eliphaz. Then Eliphaz the Tiamat replied, Can a man be a benefit to God? Can even a wise person benefit him? What pleasures would it give the Almighty if you were righteous? What would he gain if your ways were blameless? It is for your own piety that he rebukes you and brings charges against you? Is not your wickedness great? Is not, Are not your sins endless? You demand insecurity for, from your relatives for no reason. You strip people of their clothing, leaving them naked. You give no water to the weary, and you withhold food from the hungry. Though you were a powerful man owning land and honored man living on it, and you sent windows away empty-handed and broke the strengths of the fatherless, it is why snares are all around you, why sudden prevail terrifies you. It is why so dark you cannot see, and why the a flood of water covers you. It is not God in the height of heaven. I see how lofty the high are the highest stars, yet you say, What does God know? Does he judge through such darkness? Thick clouds veil him, so he does not see us as he goes about in the vaulted heavens. Will you keep the old path that the wicked have trod? They are carried off before time, their time, their foundation washed away by flood. They ask to God, leave us alone. What can the Almighty do for us? Yet it is he who filled their houses with good things. So I stand aloft from the plans of the wicked. The righteous see their ruin and rejoice. The innocent mock them, saying, surely our foes are destroyed and the fire devours their wealth. Submit to God and be at peace with him. In, his, in this way, prosperity will come to you. Accept instruction from his mouth and lay up his words in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, you will be restored. If you remove wickedness far from your tent and assign your nuggets to the dust, your gold of Ophir to the rocks of the ravens, then the Almighty will be your gold, the, cho the choice silver for you. Surely then you will find delight in the Almighty and will lift up to the face of your to God. You will pray to him and he will hear you and you will fulfill your vows that what you decide on will be done and the light will shine on your ways. When people are brought low and you say lift them up and then he will save the downcast. He will deliver even one who is not innocent who will be delivered through the cleanness of your hands.